Hey, it's Alyssa from Rome Wise, your go-to guide to Rome. We are going today to visit Palazzo Farnese. This is an incredible opportunity to visit this Renaissance Palazzo. Look at this. It is the French Embassy today. And those beautiful designs that you see on the facade, that was all designed by Michelangelo. That's one reason I love it so much. On this day, which happens once a year, we get to visit this amazing palazzo because it is um, European Cultural Heritage Week and it's free and open all day to anyone. So, also, we get to film, which usually is not the case. You usually cannot film. So, here we go. So, this is the gorgeous courtyard of Palazzo Farnese that we get to see here today. Official library of Palazzo Farnese. Wow. Look at the ceiling. ballroom we have got this incredible statue of Hercules from ancient Rome and then these gorgeous tapestries over here and then the ceiling which is unbelievable I mean it's made of all wood have a bird's eye view of Piazza Farnese from the Palazzo. Pretty nice. Most people don't really know that this little street that you see here that cuts between these two buildings called Via Baulari, that street didn't exist before the prince built this palazzo. Basically, uh, the CNBC palazzos were out on the street beyond this palace, like over on the other edge of these uh, buildings. And when the prince decided to buy this palace, he thought it would be a good idea because he'd be near the market, near the river, but he wouldn't be able to see and be seen. So he bought up all the buildings between here and the big street out front, which was called the Via Papalis, the Papal Way, and he cut through them so that his palazzo would be visible from the Via Papalis. And then these amazing fountains that you see all came from the baths of Caracalla. Every room is just more amazing than the next. Look at this. And outside too, so beautiful. What an amazing palazzo. Can you imagine living here? Well, if you're Prince Farnese and you're going to be a Pope, I guess this is as royal as it comes. So this is the most famous room in the entire Palazzo and it's why everybody's taking pictures and why there is a big traffic jam trying to get in here. Look at these stunning paintings by Annibale Caracci, one of the most wonderful painters of the Italian Renaissance. He was a contemporary of Caravaggio and in fact you can see more paintings by him in the chapel that's in the church of Santa Maria del Popolo. There's a chapel called the Cerasi Chapel, which is where Caravaggio has two paintings that everybody goes to see, but in fact, uh, Annibale Caracci painted the painting on the back wall of that chapel, which is the assumption of the Virgin. Everybody is ooing and aahing, justifiably, and I'm thrilled to see that so many people are here enjoying this masterpiece, this incredible room, all this amazing art, that we are so lucky to have and to be able to just come and visit. So this is Rome, enjoy.